Hey dolls, so today I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. If some of you don't know, I have upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus. So that is the phone that I am using right now, currently, and that I'm doing this video about. So before I get into anything, um, I did want to mention my wallpaper. It is, I made it myself, and it is just a Lady in the Tramp photo that I got off of Google, and I just put it on the back, on top of a pink background. and. I will link where you can get this in the description box below. So if you want to save it for yourself and use it on your own phone, that is perfectly fine. So before I get into this video, I just wanted to show you guys the gigabyte of storage that I have on this phone. It is 256 gigabyte and you can see my um, applications. I have 161, photos over 5,000, videos over 500, songs 23. I have Spotify, so I prefer to listen to music through Spotify rather than downloading songs on iTunes and taking up storage on my phone because as you guys can see, I'm much more of a picture person than a music person. So I usually just have all of my songs through Spotify rather than on my phone storage itself. And you guys will also notice this little circle thing floating around. That is my assistive touch. Um, it's really easy to set that up. You can just go into your settings and then I think it's in the general section and you can turn assistive touch on. It just lets you do things without having to actually use the little home button and things like that. So there is that. So if you see that kind of in the corner of the screen, just ignore it. So this is my main screen right here. I always like to have my second screen as my main screen. And you'll notice that my setup on this phone is pretty much the same as all of my iPhones in the past. I just love this setup so much and it hasn't failed me yet and I just prefer it. So my second screen is always my home screen. I don't know why. It's just always been that way. It's kind of in the middle of all the chaos and that's what I like. Um, so yeah, this is my home screen and I like to see my wallpaper on my home screen so I don't like to keep it too cluttered. So on my dock you can see that I have messages, phone, photos, and camera. And then on the top I have mail, between, which is the app that I communicate with my fiance with. It is an app I've talked about in the past, I don't want to go into too much depth with it in this video, but basically it's an app where you can only communicate with one other person through it. So it's perfect for like best friends or couples, or sometimes if you're a parent and you have a kid and you want to talk with them just one on one, that is a great place for it. it also has a calendar so you can like schedule events within the app and then it will also schedule it within the other person's app so that they know of the events coming up and it's just really really cool so I love that app and I highly recommend it. The icon does look different in the App Star though. I do pay for the plus version so I can pick like this little pink icon instead of the basic one that is comes with the app it's kind of like a bluish teal color but it's it's a really cool app and I highly recommend it even the free version is great um, then I have Safari and App Store you guys know what those are and then I have the clock right here on my main screen because when I do work when I go to work I work at a bakery and we are often using mixers. We have to work with timers so we know when to shut the mixers off and when to change them to certain speeds when we're baking cakes and macarons and things like that. So I always have my clock on my home screen because I do use my phone timer when I am at work. So I always usually put my phone on airplane mode so it's not going off like crazy while I'm at work and then I have access to my timer on my phone. So there is my home screen. And now I'll go ahead and bump you guys to my main screen, or my first screen, excuse me, not my main screen. Uh, on the top I have PetCube. You guys know that is like the pet security camera that I've done a video, video about before. Then I have the Bible app. And then in this folder, I have all of my music stuff. So I just have the music app. Uh, ringtones, that is actually Zedge. Z-E-D-G-E. -E. Uh, you can download ringtones and stuff through there, which is really cool. So you don't really have to pay for them or go through the app store to buy them or whatever. Then I have Spotify, which again, I have I pay for Spotify. So that's where I listen to all of my music. Um, and then I have Shazam, which a lot of you guys are probably familiar with that. I'm not going to go into too much depth with all of the apps within this video because I don't want this video to be three hours long because as you guys saw, I have 161 apps and I don't 
don't want to go into too much detail because that will take forever. So I'll just kind of show you guys the names of the apps and give you an idea of what they do and that'll be that. I'm not going to open up each app and explain everything about it. You guys can kind of investigate and try everything out for yourself. Um, that was my fiance. Sorry about that. Um, then I have a calculator right here in the top right. Weather, calendar, reminders, contacts. Those are all basic. You know what they are. Um, my carrier is Verizon, which you can clearly see on the top of the screen. So I have the my Verizon app to manage my payments and all of that stuff. The settings app, clearly you know what that is. Dropbox, a lot of people know what that is. It's just a file sharing app. I use that to transfer thumbnail photos from my computer to my phone to edit them. And then in this folder, I just kind of have like a random assortment of like lifestyle tech apps. So I have my horoscope. That reminder one is for my birth control. So it's a birth control reminder app. Then I have SleepBot. You can kind of track your sleeping schedule and uh, cycle and motion and noise and all that stuff. It's really cool. Then I have the Netgear Up and the Netgear Genie app because that is the router brand that we have is the Netgear. So I have both of those to control our router. Then I have HP Smart because we do have a wireless printer that is HP and I have that for printing photos and all of that stuff. Then I have Instax Share, which you guys know I do have an Instax printer that I can connect through my phone to print out photos. So I have that. And then I also have the Print Pocket little camera smartphone printer that is really, really neat. I've also done a full video on that. Um, it is so cool. So there's the app for that. And then I have the Canon uh, Camera Connect app. So where I can connect my Canon G7X photos and just kind of Wi-Fi all of the photos and videos that I take with it to my phone to post on Instagram or whatever. So there's that photo or folder, excuse me. And then I have voice memos, notes, and maps. And then in this folder right here, I have follow tool, which is for Twitter. You can kind of track your Twitter followers and like mass follow and mass unfollow and all of that stuff. And then I have status shuffle, and this is the pink version instead of the blue version. Crowdfire is perfect if you want to set up like automated messages. You can kind of set up like an automatic, automated response to all of your messages, which is great for small businesses or even just like I said, if you're big into social media. Then I have Big Day, which is an app that you can count down to a certain date or count how many days it's been since a certain date. So that one's fun. Musical.ly, you guys know what that is. My username on there is the same as my YouTube, Manda31409. Dub Smash, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore, but it's fun. You guys can check that out and play around with it if it's even still cool. I don't know. I never really use it anymore, but it's kind of fun once in a while. Then in this folder right here, I have mainly like beauty themed photo editing apps. So I have Beauty Cam, Beauty Plus, Mie2, Wonder Cam, You Cam Makeup, Makeup Plus, Kira Kira Plus. This is the app where a lot of people ask me, um, what photo editing app do you use to get sparkles when you are taking videos and things like that? So I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick just to show you guys, um, just so you can get an idea. Uh, see how there are sparkles on this video footage that I am taking right now? That is through the Kira Kira app. So you can record little, um, videos like this and then you can easily upload them to Facebook or wherever you see fit. So there is that one and then Camera 360 is great for filters and then More Butte 2. This is basically like skin smoothing and stuff like Wonder Cam and Beauty Plus. So there is that album. And then we have Facetune, Airbrush, and Snow. Snow is just like Snapchat, except the filters are a little bit more cutesy and a little bit more fun, and you have a lot more options on there. As far as filters go, I've always preferred the filters on Snow versus Snapchat. Um, don't ask me, ask me to add me on here because, honestly, I never use the actual app. All I do is get on there and take pictures and save them. So I'm, I don't have any friends on that app just because I never use it other than treating it like a camera app. So I don't add people on there or anything like that. It's just really fun to play with the filters. 
uh, Facetune and Airbrush. Those are both like skin smoothing, photo editing, like a little bit more in depth, hardcore rather than just like simple filters. You can change brightness, contrast, all of that fun stuff in both of those apps. And they are amazing. I use Facetune a lot when I do my thumbnails for my videos. Okay, now moving on to the third page right here. So this is one of my busy screens and obviously it's mostly social media so I don't have to go into crazy detail about these, but these folders up here are kind of jam packed. So up here I ba basically just have like the stock apps as well as Bing. I use Bing when I am on Safari and I need to translate a page. Um, I can kind of bring up the little Bing extension and it'll help me translate pages. So that's really helpful. Um, but all of these other ones I'm not going to talk too much about. You pretty much know what they are if you have an iPhone. So in this folder right here, I have more photo editing, video editing apps like crazy. Uh, PicMix, you can basically cut out photos, the backgrounds of photos, and like um, just do cool little cutouts and things like that. Same with Magic Eraser, you can basically eliminate the backgrounds of photos and create PNG images, which is really great when it comes to thumbnail making. Line Camera is wonderful for adding stickers and borders and um, filters to your uh, photos. You'll notice sometimes on my Instagram account I will have cute little stickers or sparkles or whatever on my photos and it is Line Camera that I use for those. Then I have Snapseed. Snapseed is my favorite photo editing app when it comes to brightness, contrast, saturation, just basic um, kind of polishing up of photos or like I said just in general photo editing. Snapseed is my favorite. PixArt is great for um, using the clone tool, resizing, doing cool lighting effects. You can do so much stuff in the PixArt app, and I love that one too. Split Lens is really, really fun. I'm not going to tell you too much about that one. You guys can go download that and play with it yourself. Um, Fonto is one that I use to put text on photos, whether I'm making wallpapers or thumbnails. It is amazing, and it is one of my number one used apps on my phone, hands down. Pick Play Post is great for making collages with photos and videos. I use that when I'm making collages for my thumbnails. Then we have Square Ready, Best Me. Um, it has a little um, cloud icon right there. I think I didn't have that downloaded all the way. But that one has... Oh, it says it's unable to install. It's no longer available in the App Store. That could just because be because it's not updated since iOS 11. Uh, so if you can't find it, I'm sorry. Uh, but Best Me and Retrica are for filters. Then we have Status Bar, I think it is. Status Bar Themes and Doc Themes. These, as you can see, they have the little uh, cloud icon next to them as well as the pink uh, wallpapers and the Peary icon right underneath of those. Uh, those all have the little cloud icon so you might have a problem downloading them. They might not be on the App Store yet because they haven't been updated. But then I have CocoPa or Coco PPA. I use this to um, do little icons which you'll see a little bit later on. You can use this app to totally customize your iPhone. I don't like to customize every single app that I have but I do have that for um, a reason and you guys will see a little bit later on what exactly I use that for. Lumiere is great when adding sparkles and animated kind of effects to still photos. It's really really fun to use. Then I have Boomerang and Layout which if you are an avid Instagram user you know exactly what those are for. Then I have Emoji Key and um, that is for, it's like an external keyboard. I do have a video about um, how to create external keyboards. I don't know if it still applies or not considering the iOS updates, but um, it's pretty easy. You can set them up through your uh, settings. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that. Bitmoji, if you use Snapchat and you know all about Bitmoji. Um, then I have this Two-Faced app, which is actually stickers that again is an external keyboard. I don't use that. I should probably delete it, honestly. I don't use it. Um, 
And then I have gift keyboard, which you can send gifts to your friends and text and everything. There is So Kawaii Emoji, which you guys remember, this is the app that I actually helped develop. It is kind of my um, emoji app. It has not been updated for iOS 11, I don't think. So unfortunately, it's not available right now, as far as I know. I have contacted the company, and I'm going to see like what the next steps are in updating and all of that stuff. So there is that. Then I have Fancy Key Pro, which you can change the color of your keyboard and fonts and all that fun stuff. Patternator is great for making wallpapers. And then I have Mix Tiles. I just deleted, or I mean, I just installed that the other day because you can print out your Instagram photos on like tiles that you can hang up on the wall. And it looked really interesting. So I, I basically downloaded it, but I haven't like opened the app or anything like that. Um, I just have it there just in case for the future. And then I have Vaunt, which is basically just like Fonto, but it's adding text to videos rather than photos. iMovie, Square Ready for Video, Chromic Carve, Mega Photo, and then this Video Crop and Rotate and Flip are both for videos, and they do exactly what they say they do. The first one crops your videos, and the second one um, rotates and flips them. So there is all of that folder. Okay, working on down the line here, we have the next folder, which is TVs and Movie. Um, TV Guide Channel, Fandango to look up and see what movies are playing in the theaters, Redbox, Netflix, uh, Pocket Big Brother. I do watch Big Brother. It's one of my favorite shows. And so I have this little app here to kind of get updates and cheats and sneak peeks and all that stuff right there, kind of spoilers and everything. Then I have Movie Pass, which is something that, again, I downloaded, but I haven't looked too far into just yet. Um, and then this folder right here is all of my kind, not all of my, but um, like online shopping and banking and money and stuff like that. So I have Ebates, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, AliExpress. Um, you guys know that eBay and AliExpress are my two favorite places to buy phone cases. If you ever are looking for phone cases for your phone, no matter what model it is, just type it into eBay or AliExpress and chances are there will be thousands of results that pop up. So I do love both of those. Then I have the USPS mobile so I can track packages. And then I have PayPal and my banking app. So there is that folder. Okay, and then here we have feature points. I have a whole video about features points from quite a while back. Uh, I can try and link it in the description if I remember, but basically you can download apps to earn points, which you can cash in for literal like Amazon gift cards and things like that. It's really fun. And I have this Waifu 2X that is for editing photos on my Crossing Kauai Instagram account for my Animal Crossing New Leaf photos. Then I have Live360, and this is a GPS kind of tracking app that I have for my fiance and I. We can kind of see where each other is at all of the time, and that doesn't necessarily have to mean that like we're needy and have to see where the other person is 24-7. It's just kind of nice to have when you know that the person is safe and that nothing has gone wrong. There's also an emergency button within the app, so if something happens, you can just hit the emergency button and it will let the other person know immediately and it will kind of alert their phone as an emergency alert and it's just really really helpful especially if you have family members or children that you want to check on and just make sure that they're okay that app is awesome and also you can program it to see like when they are home or when they go to a certain location just so you know that they're safe and everything so I highly recommend that app for couples or families then I have one second every day um, on this corner on the right up here, and that app is so amazing. You literally record one second every single day, and it creates this awesome collage, and then each month you can kind of save or share the videos on different social media. Some people will wait to the very end of the year and then upload it as a video on YouTube or something one second every single day. It does cost money, but you guys, it's definitely worth it. I paid the three or five dollars or however much it was and I don't regret it at all it's super fun to document every single day with videos instead of pictures it's just such a fun thing to do so I do have that next we have Facebook pages I'm on Facebook as Manda through 1409 Periscope my Periscope is Manda through 1409 I rarely get on there anymore but I do still have it my Snapchat is the only social media that is different from everything else and it is Manda dot 
3-14-09. There is a period between Manda and the numbers, but other than that, it's the same username almost. Uh, my Facebook Messenger. I have YouTube Studio to respond to comments, check my analytics, and everything like that. It is super helpful if you are a YouTuber. Download the YouTube Studio app. It is amazing, and it will help you so much. Then I have the regular YouTube app. Then I have Tumblr, Twitter, and then down below I have the Instagram. I'm on all three of those as Manda31409, so you can find me easily on there. I have the Line app and the Telegram app, which I don't use that often anymore. Honestly, I'm not quite sure why I still have them, but I do. And then I have my Facebook. I do have a personal Facebook for my friends and family that I know like in real life. So um, I don't really add people back on there, but that is there. And then down below, I have just two little games that I've been playing lately. I have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, which I highly recommend. And then I also have the My Little Pony game that I played forever ago, but I finally decided to re-download it and play it from the beginning just today. So I haven't gotten very far on it, but it is definitely fun. So after that page, then we move to this page right here, which again is filled with folders. These are all kind of online shopping and in-person shopping random apps. You guys are familiar with probably all of these. There's Ulta, Sephora, Victoria's Secret Forever 21, JCPenney, Claire's, Adore Me, Dresslink, TB Dress, Yoins, Mixwire, Hush, and then my in-person ones. I have Michael's, Hobby Lobby, McDonald's, Baskin Robbins, and Domino's, and then I have Retail Me Not for coupons for places like that as well as websites so there is that folder and then this folder right here i have more shopping apps kind of uh vinted is kind of like poshmark and depop it's really cool polyvore is not really a shopping app but you can get on there and like create photo collages of different fashion and accessories and just kind of create little inspiration posts glam outfit is really cool you can post all of the items that are in your own physical closet and just kind of keep it as a little it's not necessarily where you sell items or purchase items you basically just post photos of the items that are in your closet and then say you have an event coming up and you don't know what to wear instead of grabbing everything out of your closet you can just reference this app and see what what are your favorite outfits are and then decide what you're going to wear from there so it's really fun then i have mercari poshmark and depop which are all pretty similar then i have pinterest you guys know what that is my poshmark depop and pinterest are all manda31409 if you want to check that out same as my polyvore um, and my glam outfit i believe then i have Casetify for making little phone cases or purchasing phone cases I have shop parks so I can shop the Disneyland parks. And then over here I have Cutesy, which you guys have seen before. Cutesy is basically a social networking app for pets. So if you have a pet that you want to post photos of all the time, you can go there. And it's really, really cute. Hence the name Cutesy. It's really cutesy. It's fun. I haven't posted on there in quite a while, but it is fun to kind of get on there and browse all of the cute little pets. Then in this folder, I have kind of all of my important YouTube marketing sponsorship business stuff. Um, I have Refluence, FameBit, Social Blue Book, uh, Sign Easy, Fiverr, Adobe Scan, Patreon, Rage On. Those are all just stuff that you can kind of look into yourself. Those are just things that I have as necessities, just doing my job and making money and things like that so there is that folder and then in this one I just have some random games you guys know I do most of my quote unquote gaming I don't really game much but I have most of my favorite games on my iPad so you'll notice I don't have a lot of games on my phone right now but I have evil apples which is basically apples to apples but it's kind of a dirtier more adult version of it so if you are underage I don't recommend downloading this app but if you get a kick out of playing apples to apples or like cards for humanity you might get a kick out of this game it's pretty fun then I have Mitomo and Pokemon Go which I don't like ever play anymore Mitomo kind of lost my interest after a few weeks and Pokemon Go it was fun while the hype was cool but I don't know I'm I'm definitely more of a fan of the generation one Pokemon 
Pokemon. So once all of the new gens started coming out, I kind of just lost a little bit of interest because I was very ignorant in playing and didn't really know the Pokemon and I felt a little bit of a disconnect. So I haven't really played that one much lately anymore. Then on the rest of this page, I just have my own personal Amanda31409 app. If you want to download that, it's awesome. If you are someone who doesn't have Instagram or Tumblr or anything like that, you can view all of my social media in one place. If you want to see all of my social media but don't necessarily want to sign up for all these crazy accounts, all these social media accounts just to see my posts, you can just download one app, which is the Amanda31409 app, and you'll be able to see all of my social media in one convenient place. Then I have my friend Tanya, aka Tanya's Beauty, here on YouTube. This is her app. I don't think it is updated uh, and formatted for iOS 11 just yet, but I do have it there because it was, again, on my backup for my iPhone 7, but I just got my iPhone 8, so it is there, but I don't have actual access to it just yet. So if any of these apps are like that, my apologies. Um, then right here I have the Disneyland app. This was super convenient when I went on my trip. And this right here, this little thing that says disability, this is just actually a link that um, I added to my home screen. And this is basically a map of the park and it explains like all of the rides and what all of the rules are and how to enter and exit if you are using a wheelchair. So when I went with my mom, I rented her a wheelchair and we went through all of the exits to get into the ride. This is very helpful. This is basically just a PDF file of the actual physical map. Um, if you do go to Disneyland, you can also get one of these maps at the city hall. They also have them at the front gates. Um, this is just basically the exact same thing but a simpler version because it's on your phone and you don't have to worry about losing it. And then I have Fly Delta because I fly via Delta almost every time I travel. I just love it so much because I can track my bags and things like that and it's just so convenient. And I have the Best Western app because I love staying at Best Western hotels and I am a rewards member. Then I have Uber, which obviously you guys know what that is for, and then Uber Eats as well. So if I want to get food delivered, they just started doing that where I live, which is awesome. I wish that they delivered places like McDonald's and Taco Bell and things like that, but right now we're very limited. Um, I live in an area where they don't deliver a lot of things, so that's sad, but hopefully it will progress and advance in the future, so that's exciting. So I do have the Uber Eats app. And then finally, on my last page, you guys can see these little icons at the top. This is what I was referring to when I was talking about Cocoa Pot earlier. I use that app to make little icons for speed dials. So I have my mom's phone number on a speed dial. I have Alan's number on a speed dial. I have my home phone number on a speed dial. And I have my sister's uh, phone on a speed dial. So I just basically click those. It brings up a second window. And then you just click the call button for the phone number and it takes you it calls their phone which is very helpful and then I have Skype and FaceTime right there just I don't know why that's just where it ended up on my phone and that's where I put it so overall that is everything on my iPhone 8 plus I'm sorry this video was long but then again I'm not because these videos are always super long and they take up a lot of time so I'm sorry I didn't go into too much depth though with the individual apps but I always encourage you guys to download them for yourself try them out see if you like them see if you hate them and always leave your own app suggestions for not only me but everyone else in the comment section down below and if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends if you and them both have an iphone so you can download similar apps and chat with each other and have fun and photo edit and play games and all of that cool stuff that comes with having a smartphone. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said before, if you want this wallpaper, the link will be in the description box below. And just let me know in the comments down below what phone you have and what some of your favorite apps are. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!